Hello and welcome to your Saturday night. I am your Saturday night and we're going to be doing some painting. Just having a little bit of fun. Some good times. I hope you are doing absolutely fantastic today. Pardon me. Oh my goodness. I've been a pretty busy, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, we haven't been able to catch up much, have we? But, we're here for painting. We're here for joy. Uh, we're going to be doing this painting that I've been kind of sketching out. I worked out what I wanted to do here. I've already got it all sketched out. We're going to get going on it. Uh, if you did not know, uh, I host an abstract art workshop every month and uh today uh today was a bonus workshop so we did a little bonus workshop just something fun just something interesting got that going so feel free at any point in time to uh join us for one of these great workshops I would be very happy to have you there. We're going to be going real slow today. Slow and steady as it were. So we probably won't get super far in this, but I have the sketch done at least. So there is... A lot of room for what's going to come. And I have a lot of different varieties and styles of painting that I do. Uh, just as a quick notice, uh, there are captions available today for those who should want them, need them. Uh, if that's something that's important to you, they are available. So, you know, go ahead. Feel free. Use those. I'll do my best to talk and keep up with you as we move forward. I have still been planning on doing more live streams uh, throughout this year. So just uh, stay tuned as best as you can. And you might be able to catch some of those extra live streams as they come up. We're going to be going real slow on this. Hopefully I can keep everything in focus. My goodness. So today's painting is actually based off um, a drawing I I did a while back. And that's kind of where the basis of this piece comes from this drawing that I had done, um, which I'm hoping I can render nicely as a uh, sketch. Well, not a sketch, uh, as a painting. <laughs> but we're going to be going real slow and real steady. And when I say real slow and real steady, I, you know, I mean we're going to be going slow. There's going to be some layers to this. And hopefully uh, 
that all turns out exactly as I want. But if it doesn't, that is okay. Because I don't often turn my, um, my sketches into paintings. And when I do, oftentimes it's with a little bit of trepidation just because you never know exactly where it could go, how it could turn out. But I'm actually feeling really good about this one. So we're going to see. We're going to see how it turns out. And it will be a slow going process. There is no getting around that. So we're going to have a lot of layers and a lot of small bits. I mean, you can see here even now, uh, we're still pretty early on with what the face is, but I'm going to be focusing on trying my best to kind of capture some of that essence of the original drawing. Which also means, you know, I really, I have to take it slow, and I have to take it steady. Real slow, real steady. We're just going to see exactly how much we can get done today and uh, exactly how happy I am, um, you know, in the end of the final product. I am using a series of small brushes for these early stages. We may transition to larger brushes the further along I get. But for right now, small brushes. Because there is a lot to be done here. And there's certain spots I need to really focus on kind of getting right and right isn't even necessarily the right way to put that but it's the best I have at the moment A lot of layers, a lot of time and focus.
And even right now, like, this is just early. Early, early stages. I hope you are doing fantastic today. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Feel free to tell me whatever uh, you're up to for your awesome weekend. You know, let's have a bit of a conversation. Let's have a bit of a go around. And I will do my best to make sure that I'm well engaged with everything uh, that everyone has to say. Or at least as well engaged as I can manage. Sometimes I struggle with that. Like, that's just, that's just the way of things. I struggle with certain... I struggle with certain things. One of those things is, you know, having a conversation with people while I stream. Now, fortunately, I know that's an issue. So it's something that I'm able to work on. And it's something that I'm trying to work on. With a painting like this, um, each individual step really, really matters. I'm sure you can see already that, you know, there's aspects of the face and the hair that are really, you know, this is early, so they're not going to be um, awesome yet. But we're going to do our best. Oh, we are going to do our best. I already know that I'm going to have a lot of areas of like deep shadow. And really dramatic light and I just hope that I can achieve what it is that I intend to
But um, honestly, so far so good. At least, that's my opinion. And I know some of these things are already, like, too dramatic. But you know what? That's part of the journey. That's part of the fun of this. Kind of figuring out everything as we go along. Figuring out tones and everything else. Where my shadows will ride. What my in-between colors are going to be. When it comes to things like skin and realism, I am by and large no expert. But I do really try my best in many ways. Translating my skills from kind of uh, sketching and drawing and all of that and figuring out how to do that same thing on uh, canvas has actually been a lot of fun. So I will say that is something that I'm enjoying, you know, figuring out some of these harder aspects. And also making sure that I'm spending enough time to really, really get it. get the reflections and the shadows, get all of these little details as we go forward. the interplays of light. That's a big one right there. Like how does the light interact with various spots?
so we're just taking our time, little by little, doing what we can. One thing I am going to be doing is there's going to be a lot of these sections that I'm going to end up putting like swaths of gray on. Because I want to kind of block in certain things ahead of time. It's all a lot to do. But Just so everyone is well aware, I am very appreciative of all of your support. As we continue on this marvelous journey together. Right now, just still block, block, block. Lots of blocking. There's a lot of character that needs to really be established. So, let's just keep establishing character. This is going to be a, a several stage painting. Several. But we're not going to let that affect our mood. Nope, that's going to motivate us. Motivate us and keep us going. And there will be things that end up getting slimmed out uh, as we move further ahead. So even if right now there's a lot of darkness, um, I want you to consider this piece uh, 
stylistically not all that different than uh, some of my other larger pieces. Say for me, the most important part right now is kind of just doing some of this establishment like I'm doing at the moment. Bear with me, I have to uh, that's going to look better over time, but right now. I just need to uh, block some things out and uh, establish kind of some positioning. But it's kind of an awkward position I'm going to put them in. Phew. Probably I should do that without a paintbrush in my mouth when I'm talking. Or at least try not to talk with a paintbrush in my mouth. Gonna take a little while to get a bunch of these details settled into place. As a side note, I really need to get like, um, oh, I had the word and I lost it. I really need to get like a brush stand. So that's something I plan on getting in the future, brush stand. Because I don't have one, and I honestly have no idea why in the world I don't. I'm going to call that some bad decision making on my part. That I have not made that a priority.
just continue doing a little bit of what I am right now. It'd work a lot better if I didn't keep moving my uh, canvas around with my brush. But, you know what? Sometimes that's the way things go. This is some really nice consistency on this paint. We're going to have a lot of layers involved here. That is a given. But, you know, for some first pass stuff, though, honestly, I think we're doing great. Uh, I'm not going to keep working that red right now. In fact, need to give this just a moment. That way we can keep moving forward. So there's a few different angles here. And there's a few different aspects of this drawing I want to make sure I really appropriately address as I move forward. Um, but there we go. Now, oftentimes, I try not to put too much background in until... It's really necessary, but I actually, I feel that I should do some now. Not a lot, just a little. It's easier for me to paint over 
background, then try to pull it in. This will also help me as I slowly establish what my lighting is in this situation. So. Kind of try to very carefully get some of this in here. It's also going to help, like, as I finish up where the hand and the hair and everything are, it's going to be a lot easier for me to do this now. Just so much easier. it for some of where my shadows are going to be so there's just some stuff in here I'm going to get done right now this will get fixed as we move forward but for the time being uh, I'm just trying to make sure that everything is properly laid in. Which means, above other things, starting to cover up some aspects of this that honestly I already can see. are going to interfere when I put the background in later. So we're getting that fixed up now. I hear a lot of people talk about how painting should be done, how it shouldn't be done, what is right, what is wrong. But you know what? I'm more concerned with what feels right, what looks right. Having all of this put in right now is going to make it so much easier um, when I come back in here because now I have some really firm, solid borders and those borders are unbelievably necessary. I feel like I had a paintbrush a moment ago and I've lost it. A specific one that I wanted just for this. Oh, no worries. I will make do with another brush.
There's some spots in here which I'm going to have to go through like, I don't know, a dozen times or so. looks good There are going to be a lot of steps. A lot of steps. You know, it would really help if I could stop twisting my, my canvas around while I worked. But, you know what? That's just not the way it goes. At least not all the time. Now, some of our perspective when we look at this particular piece is going to be a little strange. But, like all good art, sometimes when you're looking at it, you're not seeing it from just a perfect angle. You know, that's one thing which I can definitely say about my work is oftentimes it is not at a perfect angle. It is a little bit askew. And I like that. There's a, a lot of steps to take. Pretty far away to go. I think some of my proportions are a little weird. But we're going to make do. Again, I, I realize, you know, I'm going to have odd angles. I'm going to have strange kind of looks to some things. That actually makes it kind of interesting to me.
So I'm building in a bunch of shadows and things. Um, there's going to be a lot of areas which I already know are going to need more than I've given so far. But just you wait. It's all going to make sense the further along we go. Right now, it's just kind of a mess, right? Yeah. Right now, just kind of a mess. But everything's going to end up just all right. It'll be fun to, um, I don't know, kind of bring this particular drawing to life. And it's going to be interesting to continue to do things like this. I mean, I realize I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, a lot of drawings. Well, not a lot of drawings. A lot of paintings based on my previous artwork. Um, just kind of to get things where we have a closer match between skill sets. I have not been building my painting skills as much as, say, my drawing skills. And that just will not do. So... We will rectify that um, by doing more doing more paintings, more paintings, lots more paintings. Some will be realistic, some will be very fantastical. Some I don't know. I don't think I need to explain all of it right now. What I think I need to do is rely on the fact that I know what I'm doing. 
Or at least, I think I know what I'm doing. And I'm willing to try. I think that's worth a lot in itself. And there's all these little details and bits of lighting and interesting things that we'll get into as we move forward. Kind of play down some of that really, I won't say overdone, but definitely that lip color was a little too red. We'll end up with a dozen layers. I mean, even this, like right now, it's early. So anything that I do from here, it's going to be good. Or at least that's how I perceive it. Getting some of these lower details in.
All right. I think this is good for today. I mean, we made a lot of progress. It's still early on, but we've done a good job. Uh, there's going to be a multitude of layers above this for um, day one for the first hour of painting. I think this is a good base. No matter where you're joining me, thank you for being here. Uh, if you want to follow, it would be absolutely awesome, and I would thank you tremendously. If you want to subscribe, you would make my year. Make my year. Uh, because you'd be the first subscriber of the year. Uh, so, you know, if you want to, please do. If you don't, I understand. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard. Thank you for joining me today uh, as we do the first pass of um, exhaustion. I know it's the beginning of the year, but the beginning of the year, the <laughs> we're getting this painting here and this painting, exhaustion. Uh, compared to the fact that we've also done Sleeper in the Grass, or at least we've done another uh, good long session on Sleeper in the Grass. Um, if you haven't seen it, please check out the video that I put out uh, before this one. Um, Sleeper in the Grass, awesome painting. I really love it. And, you know, there's going to be several more sessions before it's complete. But there's already four live streams just for that one painting. Uh, so check it out. It's absolutely awesome. Sleeper in the Grass, Exhaustion. Those are two of the big ones uh, to start off the year. Or at least, those are two of the better ones to start off the year. There's been a lot of other paintings. And to be fair, some are pretty cool. But, uh... I think that we can... I think we can knock it out of the... Knock it out of the park this year. So, thank you so much for joining me. Be excellent. Take care. I will see you all again really soon. And, uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.